Big Things Kitchen. And you make the food them finger licking. Chef Juliana. Teach them how to cook rice and peas and green banana. Enos JD representing for Big Things. Big Things, huh? Big Things, huh? Welcome to Big Things Kitchen. If this is your first time watching us, we welcome you. And today we're preparing a special list. We also have a special guest inside our kitchen. This is the most anticipated time that we, are, we all have been waiting for. In Big Things Kitchen, we have no other than Miss J Queen. J Queen! Yes, guys, J Queen is in the kitchen, is in Big Things Kitchen, and today J Queen will be preparing for us some rasta pasta, jerk rasta pasta. Yes, you heard it. Jerk rasta pasta, Big Things Kitchen style featuring J Queen. Yes. So J Queen, tell us the ingredients we'll be using. So today we're gonna make some Jamaican jerk chicken rasta pasta. You can use shrimp, whatever you would like, but today we're using chicken breast. So here we have the chicken breast, and we have pasta, some homemade jerk sauce, and then we have you know regular seasoning, and then we have whipped cream, which you can use like regular milk or any other type of milk to make your cream. And here I just um, have honey and, and some bell pepper, pretty up the pasta, and then some of the. So yeah, guys, we're just gonna Ray. show you all of what we're doing today. Ray. Okay guys, so I'm gonna season it up, rub it up together. If you guys wanna see a video of how to make Jamaican jerk sauce, leave a comment below and you know big things get you set to know. Yes, people, we will. And please go check out my girl YouTube channel, that's J Queen. I'll leave the link to her channel. Check it out, subscribe, and yeah, show her some love. Also, if this is your first time watching Big Things Kitchen, do remember to hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon, share with a friend, tell another friend, share on all the social media, and keep watching. Look at it. Okay, smell. guys, so see how it looks? Why is it smells nice and it's not star cookie. It smells very nice. Alright. So you're going to set it aside and leave it to marinate? Yes, you can go and soak for a little bit. Go on, me now. In the meantime, we're going to put our pasta, make it go and boil. Okay, yeah. if rasta you want to see this rasta pasta, you have to watch it to the end because it's going to be epic. It's going to be delicious. Yes, you don't want to miss it. Don't yeah. click that button to come off the channel. Watch it to the end, subscribe, leave a comment. And yes, we're making rasta pasta. You want to give them a rundown of our jerks twice that we use? In our jerk seasoning, we use many natural herbs and spices. We use pimento, ginger, we use um, garlic, onion, scallion, um, a little bit of olive oil, and a secret ingredient. You have to watch the video. I'm going to make a video with that secret, secret ingredients for you two guys to check out. But yes, we have um, J Queen in our kitchen, and she's making rasta pasta. Okay guys, so um put on the water for the pasta, so I gotta add like a salt. Yeah. She had to have one with that like English and mm, 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 mm. So how much salt do you add into the water? I just a little bit, I have discretion. You know, if you don't want the pasta to salt. And a tip so from olive oil or regular oil because that way then when you put the oil in there it make the pasta you know too soft you just right and it make the pasta not um not sticky not stick together yes so yes so yes we're making rasta pasta and my girl j queen is over there she's also recording so how long do you boil the pasta for i don't know i'm just boiled my discretion <laughs> <laughs> so guys this is the pasta Yes, I don't know how long it is. About boiled, ten minutes. I just boil it until it is suitable I'd say about for my children. No, ten yes. minutes. Ten so, minutes. The water. And we're and using pasta. penne pasta. Penne, penne. pasta. Yes. yes. It's ten minutes. It's nicer with it, but you can use any type of you wish. And here we have it. This is the best part. We get to drop the chicken breast. So what are you doing to the chicken breast, Jay Queen? 
So I'm just stirring it both on both sides for two minutes. They take the color, you know, because you don't want a white chicken. Okay. So two minutes on each side. If you want, you can dice it up and fry it up. Your, your choice. And the final step, we're going to put it in the oven. Yes, we're going to put it in the oven so that it's well um, cooked through. And then at the end, you will see how we present it on top of the pasta. Oh, so now the, pasta, the water is boiling up. So we're going to put in the pasta. We added a little bit of sauce, as we said before, with some olive oil. So now we're going to put in the pasta. And we're going to have that cook for 10 minutes, right? Yes, about about 10 minutes. Let me set the timer here. It's now 412, 42, so 412. Okay. Guys, this smells so amazing. The, the, color. the spice is jumping out into your nose because of the good, pepper. I did all the tamarind, but now we're coming out and get more on breath. I wish you guys were here in our kitchen to smell the oh, aroma it smells nice not nice bad 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 all the pepper all the natural spices the That's garlic the, the onion the pimento see it has the color nice nice golden color and remember chicken breast is fairly easy to, to cook, cook. Exactly. you don't want to overcook your chicken it. breast you get too trashy. yes it gets a little bit dry when you overcook look at that beautiful and as you can see that the pasta going on very fine and we have the vegetables over there to make the, the, the creamy sauce. Right. So I'm gonna put it on shortly and put it in the oven. And the oven is um already on at 350 degrees and we're gonna bake it for um, um, how long we're gonna do it for? Mm, about 15 minutes. About 15 bread, minutes in the oven. Because you don't want it to get too dry and all of the jewels dry out. You want it. Once you buy it, you say, yes, this takes all like three of our elements of this. So now we're going to take it out. And we're not going to wash out the pot tonight you know, because you see, all of them flavor there in the pot is going to be added to the sauce because it's going to give flavor. Amazing. Turn on the pasta. Now we're gonna make the sauce. Add some butter. So you can use like maybe one teaspoon of butter. Yeah, you don't need too much. Butter. Yeah, let's adjust it. You're still off a little bit. The, the good side, not too much butter, no good feel. What do you mean, butter had flavoring? Yeah, yeah well, too much air, no good feel. And then we're not even make it. Then we're gonna add um, the seasoning. So you go add your onion. So you add in the onions first and the garlic. The onion, the garlic. So guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like, share, tell tell a friend to tell another friend. And go over to my French channel, that's J Queen. Give her some support. And yeah. Well, like a video, then watch them and make sure you subscribe. Yes. And they are sweet pepper. I'm going to say bell pepper. You know, pepper. I like all these colors. You got the red, you got the yellow, you got the onion. The all orange. these different colors. Except orange the in there. No green. Well, yeah, we're, we're missing some green. Use the, the board spoon. It's in the draw. Yes. The, the second draw. Okay. So you see all this, all the, the seasoning that left out on the chicken. It's Caribbean, the flavor. So from the get go, we're seasoning the vegetables. Yep. Beautiful. And also, we're going to add a little bit more jerk seasoning. So. And we're adding the homemade jerk seasoning. Yeah, that's big things. Jerk season. That's the signature one. You can watch our future video and we will show you guys how to make jerk season from scratch. You can add the amounts that you guys wish. Or you can even cut up pepper and add it too. Which, which is so some people like pepper, lots of pepper, but, but the jerk like season pepper. is very spicy. 
and just stir it up, you know. Mix it up so that the season even out. Then after you go add the most important thing. That's the milk. The milk. And we're using 35% cream. You see guys? Yes. Also, you don't want to overcook your vegetable because these yes. vegetables are fresh. They're you don't easy. have to. You can use uh, regular milk if you want. You don't have to use this thick milk um, one, but you know, the thicker the better. Well, I think the thick milk adds mm. better flavoring. Mm. Give that pasta that creaminess. Look look nice. Beautiful. It mm. Smells amazing too. Why? It just made me hungry. Hungry. <laughs> you gotta smell this flavoring. It's nice butter. Oh, yes, so nice. <laughs> oh, big thing's nice. It's a sauce for me, guys. It's a sauce for me. So we're just gonna make that um boil and come to uh what do you call it? simmer. You're gonna it's make gonna it simmer come. come to like a custard like yes. and then after we add the pasta. Okay, continue watching guys, don't change that channel. Stick around because big things have bigger things to show you guys in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna add the cheese. We're using parmesan. You can use whichever cheese you like and, and cheddar. Some cheddar. Anyone that suits you is fine. So we just this one. So just go ahead. You're gonna save some for the top? Yeah. For garnishing. We're gonna leave some of the cheese for garnishing after. So you see how it start to get thick? That's the consistency we need. There, yes. uh, so rasta pasta how does this name come about and rasta doesn't eat me you know really and truly do that is a point yeah like seriously rasta not eat me <laughs> no need the rasta them alone here yeah? So you have to wash it out, you can't leave none of the nice nice ingredient behind you have to make sure and say you put in all of it. Okay. And then I'm just make this one stir a little bit, then after we'll put in, in the pasta. The pasta. Wow. You see and how the it, chicken you see is how this is and chicken boy. Wow. Hey. Hungry was a person. This is like food porn. <laughs> I hope you guys in the hear what I said. But yeah, this is food porn. Now this thing will make your mouth get excited. It's like having an explosion in your mouth. Beautiful, honey. The flavors. And the chicken is there doing its thing. Well, the chicken Ooh. almost finished anyways, guys. Yes. The aroma of all the spices is so good. Right, right, right. Yeah, and we have J Queen and some food. The pasta is ready to go inside of this nice, nice sauce. Ooh. It smells so nice. Oh, this stuff is not water, you know? So wonderful. See all the cheese, guys? It's very cheesy. Before let me get a good or so. This is a must try, guys. This is a must try. Share with others so they can see how Big Things Kitchen does rasta pasta. If you don't want some, I leave a comment. I want to get some. All right, I heard it. Can it. Leave a comment <laughs> and we will send some to you. Okay. We'll do it over Zoom. <laughs> also, go check out my girl business page. What's the name of your business page and tell Beauty them what you underscore intensity. And what and do you sell on your business and your so website? Guys, I sell lashes for the girls that like to wear lashes and stuff. And also, I sell headbands mm -hmm. and um, bucket hats and some nice little totes and handbags. And so guys, make sure you go check it out. Can you repeat and it What's again? the website again? Please. It's beautyintensity.com. That's the website and the 
IG is beauty with two Y's underscore intensity. And also go follow me on my Instagram at 2Q Tracy, guys. Say here it 2Q Tracy Instagram, beauty intensity website, make some purchase, support my friend. And yes. How's the chicken in the oven coming along? It's, it's almost done, I think. I'm <laughs> <laughs> friend can cook. This bad, this bad boy. Only in big things kitchen when I get them and food, yeah. Smell it. This bad. So good. Is nice. No, not no bad. I will cook the food, yeah. Yeah, so nice. This nice. I will cook the food, yeah. Big things kitchen. Big things so are one. Fill the kitchen. We oh, live in in style, are we? Yes. Okay. See there, guys. Now we just uh, wait for the chicken to garnish on, you know? We'll show you how the presentation go. All right. Keep watching. There you have it. Rasta pasta. It's a uh, so sprinkle a little cheese on top for garnishing and the chicken breast. Well, it's not well, well done with dry out. It's juicy and nice. You can serve it with a cup of juice or water, whichever you choose. But hey, guys, make sure you subscribe like leave a comment turn on that post notification bell so that you know every time they post guys and follow me on my instagram at 2q tracy subscribe to my channel jq watch the video guys like leave a comment and you can even leave ideas and let them know below if you want to know how to make the jerk sauce yes so you have it straight Here you from, have it straight from big things kitchen rasta pasta Yes, with some parmesan, some cheddar cheese. Well done. Amazing. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. And you'll be notified for a future video. Until next time, big, big up, up on yourself. Guest name is? Yes, people. Very anti <laughs> Rice and peas and green banana. Enos JD representing for big things. Big things, huh? Big things, huh?